Hey guys, welcome back to Channel Stewart here, and today we're going to be showing you the best Tunnel 8 trade pushing attack strategy that you can use without a clan castle. The army I'll be using today is the Go Vip attack strategy since it's the easiest army to use against the higher town hall levels. I'll also be going over ways to attack higher town hall levels like Tunnel 9 and Tunnel 10 without the clan castle. Starting off with our first attack here, we have this Tunnel 9 with 31 trophies. And if you're thinking of pushing without a clan castle, I recommend only really attacking Tunnel 9 primarily since we are missing the heal spell and everything can basically get taken down by the Inferno Towers if you are attacking Town Hall 10s. But starting off with this attack, you want to attack from the closest side of the Town Hall since your main goal for the Town Hall 9s is getting the 2 star. So starting at the top, we drop the Golem to take for the defenses, the P.E.K.K.A. and the King on both sides of the Golem to help take down the outside buildings and to distract any more defenses that aren't targeting the Golem, a widespread of the Wizards, and making sure to wall break into the base. Once you break into the base, drop the Valkyries and watch your troops make their way into the core of the base. For this attack, we didn't need to use the Poison spell since there wasn't a Clan Castle, but in some of the other attacks, I went up against Electro Dragon Dragons, so I use the poison spell instead on that on the king to slow down his attacks and also raging the troops through to speed them through the core of the base and to get the first and the second star which is everything we need to get so we end off the raid for a total of 20 trophies. The second attack is against this max tunnel 9 worth 53 trophies which is considered a well since you don't really find this many trophies while pushing. For this one the tunnel is centralized in the core of the base which can be a problem but with the clan castle on one side and the heroes on the other we can guide the troops towards the town hall and get that first star. So I start off by dropping the earthquake spells in the middle of these two compartments so we can open up the town hall compartment as well. I then start attacking at the bottom of the base with the golem, the P.E.K.K.A., the king, the wizards to clear out the outside buildings and once the outside buildings are taken out we can drop the valkyries to head in towards the queen and guide everything up to the town hall for that first star. I also drop the poison spell early just in case of any clan castle troops and the ray spells to go through the town hall and to get through the teslas as fast as possible. The strategy without the extra spell can be a little difficult to get the second star since we end this one off at a 37% one star since we couldn't get past the town hall but with this one being worth 53 trophies we were able to get a total of 17 for just a one star which I would say is a decent raid. Our third attack is against this popular town hall 9 base design worth 36 trophies with this being another base with the tunnel in the center we can basically attack this from any side and actually decide to go from the top of the base since it is the furthest away from the clan castle so we don't have to worry about that for basically the entirety of the raid and also most clan castles have electric dragons inside which will be able to take down most of your valkyries so avoiding that as much as possible will help out your raids a ton but luckily there weren't any clan castle troops in this one so we can easily make our way over to the core of the base for that town hall and the 50 percent for the two star to get us a total of 24 trophies for this third raid of the day as you can see pushing as the tunnel 8 you'll mostly find and attack tunnel 9s like this one here worth 38 trophies, which is pretty common in Champion League, which I am attacking during the making of this video. I'm also pretty sure this is another one of those popular base designs. So finding this one can be amazing if you know where everything is. And I actually start this one at the bottom right of the base, taking out the walls around the Wizard Tower to open up a bunch of different compartments. I then place all the troops to head into the base and raise the Valkyries in front of the Town Hall and that Dark Elixir storage so they could take it out quickly and make their way over to the other buildings to get the second star and I also needed to get a little bit of extra percentage so I sniped out a couple of uh, builder huts in the corner using the archers to get the extra percentage needed to get the second star for another 25 trophies. But not every base is a completely max one and may even have some buildings upgrading just like this one here which has the expos upgrading and it is worth 18 trophies which may look like not that much considering the other ones were worth over 30 trophies but 18 is basically the average amount of trophies that I was finding during the making of the video and for this one here I start off at the top of the base which is the closest to the town hall and as I drop everything and then they're heading in towards the core of the base to get the first star the troops started to slow down since they are going against the max walls for town line which was definitely a good thing on the defenders part since they were able to take out most of my troops basically everything I ended off the raid here 
at an 87%, so I wasn't able to get the three star on this tunnel nine, but I was able to get a two star for 12 trophies, which is still great for it being worth 18 trophies. And for this final tunnel nine attack, we have this one here worth 51 trophies. This is another one of those symmetrical bases, so I can easily attack from anywhere and basically get the same outcome. So for this one here, I decided to go from the top since it is the furthest from the clan castle as usual, and also be able to take out one of the expos in the process of heading into the core of the base, which is exactly what I do as the Valkyries and everything head into the core of the base, taking down the expo and heading in towards the town hall to get that first star. And since we now have the first star, we need to get the second one, obviously. So I need to take out a bunch of the outside buildings using the archers and the minions. I was able to get a bunch of the outside buildings to get me up to 49%. And I needed one more percent to get the 50%. So I had one single archer working on the left side of the base to get me slowly but surely up to that extra percentage to get the 50% for an extra 17 trophies for a total of 34 for this one here, which is amazing for this raid. And this final attack of the day is against a tunnel 10 since I haven't really attacked any throughout the entirety of this video. So I'm gonna show off one of these attacks and I don't actually recommend attacking tunnel 10s as a tunnel eight because you're basically gonna get a one star for every single base you hit, unless the bases are amazing for cleanup. But I have this max tunnel 10 here worth 10 trophies, which isn't that much, but I just wanna show you when it's like attacking tunnel 10s at the tunnel 8 and actually go from the bottom of the base since the tunnel is closer to the outside towards the bottom so you obviously want to go from the closest area to the town hall like i've said throughout the video and i start off the attack by dropping the earthquake spells while getting some damage off of the town hall so we can have a better chance of taking it down since we have to worry about the clan castle and a bunch of the other high targeting defenses and once that's done i attack from the bottom right of the base and i kind of cram the troops together so they can all head in towards the core of the base to take down that town hall and once the valkyries are deployed i drop the poison spell on the queen as well as the raid spell on top of this town hall for that first star which is basically where the raid ends since it is a town hall 10 attacking as a tunnel 8 so you aren't really going to get that far unless you have the clan castle which will give you a better shot of actually getting that two star but for this one here we got a one star 40 percent for a total of three trophies which isn't that much but i was just showing what it's like to attack a tunnel 10 as a tunnel 8 but that's going to do it for today's attacks make sure you go check out the other tunnel 8 pushing videos i have on my channel or if you are a fan of any other low tunnel pushing, then go check out the other low level pushing videos I have on my channel as well. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.